Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. We are going to take a look at the energies for your next 7 days, so let's find out together what's coming towards you. Page of Pentacles, Two of Swords, clarified by the Page of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Guys, some of you can receive an apology from a lover. I would say that this person can reach out after... Um, meaningful window of time of no contact between the two of you. We got the Desert Passage Oracle card. So the two of you parted ways because maybe the connection stopped working following the Ten of Wands, which is the last mile of a situation for me. It is also an overwhelming energy, one about experiences, even the opportunity to learn the hard way, we can say that. And there is a crossroads that is coming up because of the Two of Swords. You can be extremely cautious when this person reaches out. You may have your good reasons. The moon in the background, energy about the unknown, can even describe certain issues that didn't allow the connection to develop in a satisfying way. And at the same time, the moon can be an energy about the fear factor because some of you may question the opportunity to give this particular individual the benefit of the doubt. The interaction can be extremely simple, page of pentacles, page of swords. You will have to basically gather knowledge about the interaction with this person because the lady in the page of swords version of the card has a certain swag and she wants to see what another person can have to say or to offer, you know, before she can bring forward a feedback. At the same time, the Page of Pentacles is a lovely energy because for me, it's a simple but genuine token, the one that the page can bring forward. And so your person can even be sincere when it comes to their apology. Chances are some of you have already moved on from the connection following the keyword moving on in the girl talk or a quick card. Instead, this person may desire to bring back to life the connection, the butterfly, so they want to heal the connection in order to find the growth moving forward. Guys, I want to find out a little bit more about the Two of Swords because it can be a meaningful energy when it comes to the opportunity to go within in order to pay attention to a situation, we got the details, details, oracle card. The other person is going to ask for your forgiveness and understanding, that's for sure. But you can even forgive this person, but this is not something that can force you guys to accept to be romantically involved once again. So let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Happily single. Girl talk, oracle card, moving on. The beautiful lady. Six of Cups, memories in this case, guys. My favorite card in the deck. Roots in the past. This connection maybe has been important for you. It seems that you have already embraced a different stage of the adventure. The other person didn't forget you. And so that's why they can reach out. They can really be hopeful that it's possible to rekindle the connection. Nine of Cups, wish granted energy. I think that we are looking at two different types of wishes, you know, because some of you can be extremely satisfied with your current situation. And that's why, that's why you may turn down the opportunity to try again with this person. Serendipity. Some of you can say, I got my lucky break when the connection ended. It was not easy, but I have powered through the desert. And now I want to look forward in order to find something different, something better. It is your right to do that. The other person will have to respect your decision. What is the challenge of the week? The lovers, the five of wands, clarified by the seven of cups and the five of swords. Another crossroads coming up for some of you guys, when it comes to a connection that is quite different from the first scenario because of the influence coming from the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. You are dealing with someone that may not be exactly honest with you, 
because there can be competition, there can be gossip, there can be ego at play in this situation. If there was sex shared between the two of you, following also the lovers as a powerful energy when it comes to chemistry and attraction, uh, this person may have found a way to take advantage of the situation, but then they almost left you guys uh, in the middle of doubts, questions, confusion, and indecision. At the same time, we can say that if you are dealing with a person that is influenced and driven by the five of wands, five of swords combination of energies, they can have options, guys. And some of you may have the opportunity to find out something. If that's the case, if you find out that a potential love interest is not trustworthy, and they are not deserving of attention, loving energies, and effort in order to build a romantic connection the proper way, well, the crossroads can be easier for you, even if there can be disappointment involved. So, desert passage. If this person that is leaving you guys behind in the middle of the desert, so you have to be focused, you have to pay attention to the details, that's how you can get your clarity. Moving on is once again a keyword that seems to be meaningful because this connection is not evolving to the next phase following the butterfly oracle card. So you will have to manifest your own lucky break your own serendipity moment. I want to see the Seven of Cups, guys. There is energy that can be about options, yes, but most of all, questions, doubts, indecision. Let's see. Eight of Swords, feeling stuck. What is this connection? Those of you that shared intimate moments can be even more overwhelmed by the situation because the other person basically is not offering you the perception, the tangible perception, I mean, that they are all in in favor of the connection. Two of Cups. This is a major, major energy, especially considering the lovers chance to grow together with a special person. The energy is the object of the indecision, the confusion. Is this connection real? Are they seeing other people? Are they playing with me? This is important, guys. Forgiveness and understanding. This is a coin flip because this person may have a tendency to apologize in order to then earn some benefits out of your connection. Be careful if that's the case because it can be a mind game, a twisted mind game. And then some of you may have the chance to realize that the connection is not the one that you truly want, so you can forgive yourself, especially if there was intimacy shared with this person that maybe was not deserving of that type of gift. And then understanding, seeing the situation for what it truly is, five of cups, a potential missed chance, guys, as a challenge for some of you. Three cups down below, potential love triangle, let's say competition, there is no real chance to honor the Two of Cups energy. If that's the case, guys, this can be a disappointing realization for some of you. It is better to achieve it sooner rather than later because this can set you free. And this person can be left behind with their ego because maybe they are built in that way, you know? And only drama and gossip and shenanigans can come from an interaction that can see this type of person involved. What is the surprise of the week? Six of Wands, Eight of Wands clarified by the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So guys, right away, two scenarios. One that can be extremely positive in the professional side of your life. There can be a successful progression in your favor, the Six of Wands, leaving the battlefield behind in order to collect well-deserved rewards. There can be communication coming in fast. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Um, this is quite encouraging. And the King of Pentacles can be an overall stability, even a boost in your finances that can be an absolute plus in your life. Kudos to you. And this is one scenario. The other one can be about a potential romantic interaction that can 
truly catch you guys off guard because of the Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands combination of energies. Uh, we are talking about an opportunity for commitment if we follow the King of Pentacles and this can be what some of you have been looking for, especially considering previous challenges of the journey because the warrior has left behind the battlefield. So I want to investigate indeed the Six of Wands because I think that it is meaningful in particular in the second scenario because there can be someone that can truly offer you an opportunity that you are not going to see coming in the Romantic Arena. And so I am curious to find out if the past, Desert Passage type of concept, can still play a role when it comes to your decision to embrace this new opportunity or not. Here we go. Page of Swords, gathering information, gathering knowledge. Then it can be another energy about a token of communication that can come your way, chariot. Moving forward in a successful way, guided by the star, the chariot, and the seven of pentacles, long time coming. So guys, when it comes to the professional scenario, let's say, you have worked for it. You have put your effort in favor of, let's say, a development. You have been doing all the right things. You have been following all the right steps. And now, if you look around, you are going to receive communication about a progression that is absolutely deserved. Details, details, extremely important because it speaks about your mindset, serendipity, lucky break, evolution following the butterfly, living in the moment, having fun, let's say a celebration, guys, well-deserved for those of you that can even celebrate a promotion, for example. It's going to happen fast, by the way. If we follow the romantic scenario, you can be happily single following the keyword. You are living in the moment. You can look around this person. No harsh words coming from this Knight of Swords, uh, just to be clear. This person is going to surprise you. You will have to decide if it is time for you to embrace a new romantic connection. If you perceive that there can be success, Chariot plus the King of Pentacles, so stability, reliability, the opportunity to trust the other person, the interaction can be extremely pleasant, eight of ones, Cupid's arrows, arrows of love, and this can be the chance to power through the desert and leave the battlefield behind, serendipity, a lucky break in your favor, forgiveness and understanding. It follows the opportunity to leave the battlefield behind. The understanding part, is extremely important when it comes to the opportunity to understand the new person. The two of you can truly be on the same page. This is a plus, guys. This combination of energies is extremely auspicious. It's about evolution. It's about a progression that can be positive in the journey for those of you that can resonate. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best, take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.